Hi, this is Mike with Super Swivels. Today I want to talk to you about rebuilding a swivel. What we're going to do today is our standard swivel with a Viton seal. First thing we want to do before we start this is put on a pair of safety glasses. We're ready to go. What we want to do is remove this bolt. Now this lock washer is garbage. We'll get rid of that. We want to set this bolt aside. We're going to use that later. Now the trick to getting these balls out of here would be to soak this fitting in some solvent. This one's already been done. So at this point what we want to do is just turn the fitting upside down and turn it. All the balls should fall right out. Try to pull it apart. Now if it doesn't pull apart, chances are there's still some balls left inside there. So what we do then is just take an air nozzle and we'll blow across this hole with the air. This is where the safety glasses come into play. You want to make sure you have your safety glasses on so you don't get one of these balls in the eye. And it blew right out there. So we'll pull it apart. And there you can see a swivel with, with all the old seals on it. What we want to do is get all these off. and well, These are all garbage. The new seal kit comes with all these, so it really doesn't matter how you get them off. I'm just going to use a screwdriver. Okay, like I said, all these seals and the balls that came out are garbage, so get rid of those. We've got a nice clean surface to work from. Now what we want to do is inspect this surface and make sure that, that, that it's nice and smooth and there's no pits, anything like that. You want to look inside the swivel, run it around with your finger, make sure it's, it's nice and smooth. Assuming that that's okay, we're going to take our seal kit. Now what this says is the size, the kind of seals we're dealing with, and if you flip it over you can see all the seals, the balls, a new lock washer, and a zerk. So I'll just go ahead and cut this open. Show you the instruction sheets. Come with it. Now this has a diagram of the swivel and a really good description on how to rebuild these. Real helpful. I'm just going to go ahead and dump all this out of my towel here. Now the first thing we want to deal with is this bottom groove here. I'll just go ahead and take this, this thin black washer, and it, you can stretch it out putting it down there. You don't have to be afraid, of, afraid about stretching it. Just get it down into that groove. Once we get that done, we're ready for, for our first backup. And we'll just squeeze that into that, that first groove. Now the next one is our, our brown pressure seal. Put that one on. Now this one's tricky. We want to be real sure that this doesn't get twisted when we put it on. So what I like to do is just put my, my screwdriver underneath it and just run it around here back and forth a few times just to make sure it's not twisted. If it's twisted, chances are it's going to leak and that's definitely not what we're looking for. And we'll put on the last backup. So we got our stem. It has brand new brand new seals on it. We're ready to put it back together. So I'm just going to brush on a little bit of molly grease just onto the, onto the seals there. And I'll just slide it right back together. Like so. Now we're going to drop all the balls back into this hole. Now what I like to do as I'm dropping these in is drop a couple in and turn it. And they'll just slowly fall back into the groove where they belong. Now, every seal kit that you're going to buy comes with the right amount of balls, so you don't have to worry about, about counting them. If you see a little gap in between them once you're done, that's completely normal. That's nothing to worry about. Push that last one in there with my screwdriver, and it's full. Now what we want to do, screw in the greaser that came with the seal kit. Now from here this is very important. We're going to use a hand grease gun, we're going to put it on the zerk, and this will accept no more than an eighth of pump of grease. This is very important. You don't want to over grease this fitting. So we'll just give it a little pump, and I'll take the zerk out, 
take the bolt that we saved from before and the lock washer that came with the, the seal kit, screw it in. Now we're going to tighten this to 82 inch pounds, which, which really isn't very much. And there we go. We got a new swivel. Thanks for watching.